thank you Stone Lane for sponsoring this video. And here we have the star of the show, Ritz crackers. These are always extremely popular in any parties. There are so many things you can do with it, but mainly it's used as appetizers. But today you already know that's not what we're doing. And if you've ever opened up one of these packages, you know exactly what happens. These little crackers are salty, sweet, buttery, delicious, and impossible to eat just one. I'm telling you, they're really good. And I have a great feeling about this experiment. I think it's gonna turn out really good on a crust and a steak. Because if they taste this good as plain, imagine putting it up with some steaks. And for that, it was super simple for me. I just threw it on a Ziploc bag and went to town. You can literally use your hand if you like. They are so soft that they crack super easy. I mean, if you take a look at this shot right here, you can clearly see that there's a lot of air pockets. So crushing them is no big deal at all. But hey, if you don't wanna use your hand, you can always reuse anything else like a rolling pin. Because all you're trying to do is to achieve this right here. It almost reminds me of breadcrumbs. Nice and thin, but most importantly, very delicious. But unlike breadcrumbs, you gotta really pay attention to one thing and that is the salt. These things already come salty. So make sure if you're doing this experiment, remember that. Because the next thing we gotta prepare are these. And we're talking about ribeyes. I mean, come on, take a look at them. They almost look good enough to eat already. But at the same time, I'm very curious to find out how the Ritz crust is gonna taste. But just like always, we gotta make sure to season them. And for that, I only used salt, freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Now I want you to notice that I have four steaks and for good reason. Since we're testing out the Ritz crackers, let's go all in because when I went shopping for them I also found these I mean honestly these are my kids favorite thing to eat as you can clearly see they have cheese right in between them and these are salty creamy cheesy and delicious at the same time they do bring a little bit of sweetness as well so putting it as a crust on a steak I have no idea what to expect but I'll tell you one thing I'm looking forward to find out how it's gonna taste because the process is the same exact thing all I have to do is to break them up and they are ready just like the previous one and I'll tell you one thing they smell really good so going back to our steaks since we have four of them two of them I'm gonna be doing the plain version and the other two is gonna be with the cheese this way we're gonna find out which way is the best way to put Ritz crackers on your steak but now that I got my steaks fully seasoned the only thing I have to do is to bag them up vacuum seal them and get them ready for the water bath that is perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make an incredible side dish I mean take a look at this that has to be delicious can you guess what it is already well let me show you how I made it the first thing I needed to do was to go ahead and crispen up some bacon and the best way to do that is to put it on a cooling rack and put it on a baking sheet so that it can go straight in the oven I set my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of 20 minutes threw my bacons in there and let them cook once the time was up I took them out and they look perfectly ready and if there's one thing I love is the smell of bacon it's just addicting then after boiling some potatoes I threw in a good amount of cream cheese followed by some butter and smashed them up yep if you guessed it mashed potatoes you are absolutely right I mashed them up until I had the consistency that I was happy with because if you leave it just as is they're gonna be a little bit hard so to make them nice and soft I threw in some milk and mixed it well my recommendation is to add the milk little by little you can always add more but you can never take it out unless of course you boil more potatoes doing it little by little will ensure that you get the consistency that you're happy with because once you are done, the next thing to do is to prepare the toppings. I first started by chopping up all of the bacons we just made. All I wanted to do was to chop them up in little pieces like this. Then I got a skillet and throw all of them inside, followed by a good amount of crushed Ritz crackers. Then my goal was to toast them up until they were nice and crunchy. It took no more than a minute under high heat. Because once I was done, I was left with this. And I'm telling you right now, it tastes fantastic. Give me this by itself and I'll be real happy. But hey, as you already know, I made mashed potatoes with it. First into the cast iron skillet, I threw in the potatoes, followed by this whole incredible mix we just made. And of course, to give it a little color and taste, I threw in some chives. Now that is an awesome mashed potatoes. And I think it's gonna pair up perfectly with our Ritz cracker fried steak. Talking about that, how about making a gravy for it? I'm talking about a white bechamel sauce made 100% with Ritz and milk. And here's how to do it. Into a pan, I threw in a good amount of butter. As always, remember exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Once it was fully melted, I threw in the Ritz. I mixed it well and cooked it for about one minute. It. Unlike flour, this is already fully cooked, so you don't have to go crazy, because the next thing to add is the milk, and as you are doing so, I highly recommend you whisking it. Keep the temperature under medium-high heat, because as soon as it starts to heat up, the sauce will thicken up on you real quick. 
Now here's where your preference will come through. If you like a thick gravy, do not add too much milk. But if you like a thinner one, just keep adding it until you are happy with the consistency. Remember that Ritz is very salty, so there's no need to add any additional salt. But I highly recommend using a little bit of black pepper. It gives a wonderful taste. Because once you have done so, your gravy is ready. That is how easy it is to make this. And let me tell you something, this is amazing. It's actually better than using regular flour. The taste is something you definitely gotta experience. And I cannot wait to find out how it's gonna taste with our steaks. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. I'm gonna be throwing them in the sous vide water bath at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. That will cook them to perfection. And I cannot wait to find out how the Ritz crust is gonna taste. That mashed potato looks so good, I cannot wait to give it a try. I haven't tried it yet. I always hold it until the end so that you guys can see my genuine reaction, everybody. But I am super excited for it. The sauce, on the other hand, so good. That one, I have to taste it, you know what I mean? I highly recommend using the Ritz for the sauce. Now, the steaks, I have no idea what's about to happen. Remember, I cooked all of them at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. They should be ready. We are hungry and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. The smell is what hits me, everybody. As soon as I open up the bag, if it smells good, I know it's gonna be a good experiment. And this one smells phenomenal. I'm telling you right now. As you guys already know, we're gonna be putting a crust in a few of them, and that is just like a regular deep fried steak with the egg wash. But instead of using flour, obviously I'm gonna be using the Ritz. I know my steaks don't look that good right now, but watch this. Before moving forward, I want to thank the awesome sponsor of today's video, Stone Lane. Guys, I put a lot of love and effort in my food. And when I'm done, I like to be able to plate it in a way that elevates anything I cook. Take a look at this beautiful set. It is the perfect complement to all of my food. It has a modern, sleek style that I really enjoy. And they also have many different other styles that you can choose from. Stone Lane is versatile and perfect for any occasion. And most importantly, they balance beautifully with all of my recipes. I gotta tell you, steaks look absolutely incredible with this set. Check them out. They have a variety of colors, designs, and sizes to fit your style. So get your set today. They offer high quality tableware that is also very affordable. They are durable and so good looking just click on the link on the description to get yours. Thank you Stone Lane for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back and try these Ritz crusted steaks. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful feast today, Anjo. Are you hungry? Feast. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair, we got more people, everybody. It's just not me and him, but oh, I know okay. this boy can eat, all right? <laughs> okay. So we got a little experiment here with some crust, as you can see here. I wanna know your honest opinion, how it tastes. I also made an incredible mashed potato. I'm just dying to try this right here with this little crumbly crust. You ready for this? Oh, you already went. <laughs> and then? Oh, <laughs> huh? mm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, good boy. That is an amazing mashed potato. It is a nice crust. That's all I can it say. It is a nice crust. That's I it. Say that. <laughs> it's nice and it's not too much. I like that. Okay, let's go with this one right here. It's all about the crust, this experiment. I know it looks a lot like we eat a lot of steaks, everybody. I'm telling you right now. We do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> it's been a while, man. It has been a while. It's been a while. Man. Very first one. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Mmm. That's such a nice taste in my mouth right now. You know when you have a nice taste in your mouth, you don't want to swallow. No, you, I was about to say that. You don't I was want, there. You don't want it to. You want it to last. You want you, it to last. Oh, you already finished the whole thing. <laughs> mm. It's delicious. Oh man. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. With the mashed potatoes, I thought it would be too much crumbly stuff going on. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's perfect. Mm. Like, it's so good. Wonderful taste. Not too much. Not, nice. The crust is nice and soft. Champ right here. Okay, so let's go for this here. one. This one here is kind of the same but different. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. I'm a fan of this one as well. 
Man, that is such a nice steak. It's so soft that I stabbed it with the fork and then it came right back out. This one right here, which was the first one we tried, it has cheese on it that ritz with cheese and this one doesn't. Which one do you prefer better? The one with the cheese. I would have to say the yes. The cheesy one is good. I think what happened is because this one here has a little bit probably of uh, MSG or monosodium glutamate in everybody. You think so? Ah, I think so. I think they put it inside of the cheese. So right. this one tastes better, man. It's like salty. It has a little bit more flavor. Now here's the deal. I want to know really if it's worth it. So here we have a regular sous vide steak and these are just the crust crumble it by itself okay. to see if it's good or bad. With the crust, no deep fry. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. It is so different. Which one is the best for you? Yep, yeah, 100% agree. <laughs> deep frying it is much, much better. It's like drier. Yeah, it feels a little bit more dry than when you fry it. All right, if you're gonna eat it like that, just eat the steak. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. Just, yeah. eat the steak. <laughs> Just eat the steak. Do not put these crumbly crusts by itself. And then here we have a gravy angel. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. The sauce is really good. Yeah. The sauce is crazy, everybody. It's like vegetable sauce, but it's like a thick creamy. <laughs> you get me? In a good way, not like too much. It's like the right consistency. It's so delicious, everybody. This is crazy. The sauce gives a nice compliment to the steak versus overpowering the steak. I definitely recommend you giving this one a try. I didn't have high hopes, but it worked out perfect. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. It is really good. Guys, for real, you gotta try this. Some experiments are crazy. That's why I love to experiment, and some of them turn out so fantastic that I will repeat this several times. This is one of them. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.